Let's talk about the housing market in Savannah, Georgia and the surrounding areas. All right, let's go over a few things. Are we on a buyer's market or are we on a seller's market? How long are houses taking to sell? Are houses getting multiple offers? Where is the hottest zip code of the entire market, right? Where are the most buyers buying right now in this area? We're going to cover all of that. First, what you're looking on the screen is a platform that realtors use to do research, okay? This comes from the MLS. That way you don't have to count on me giving you my opinion, but rather just show you data that answer the question. So let me take my ugly face out of here. And let me show you this. So here we have Chatham County, Effingham County, Bryan County, and Liberty County, okay? And as you can see, I'm going to mark here residential only. So we're not including rentals. We're not including land, all right? So here on the, on the right side of the screen, you have Chatham County, Effingham, et cetera. Let's talk about prices first. The price median right here, you can see. Let me just zoom it in. Chatham County, Chatham County. $355,000 right now, which is a 9.5% increase compared to last year, right? 12 months ago. Look at this, 12 months, all right? Effingham County have pretty much no change in the past year. The price median right there is $316,000 and some change. Bryan County, which is the Richmond Hill area, just so you know, Richmond Hill right now is the number one zip code, right? 31324. Richmond Hill is the number one area in terms of the amount of sales. It used to be Pooler, now it's Richmond Hill, okay? So yeah, Bryan County, $417,990. 16% increase in one year. Liberty County on the other side is $260,000. And by the way, Liberty is Hinesville. So if you're going to Fort Stewart, if you're in the military, this is the area for you. And yes, for all of you guys who are looking for bigger homes for less money, you have to go that way. Go to Liberty and Lone County. That's Hinesville and Ludowisi, okay? Okay, now let's answer the question about is it a buyer's market or is it a seller's market? So how do you know that? You know that by looking at the month of supply or month of inventory. Now let me show you guys this. Here at the bottom, okay, just so you know that I'm not just giving you a random opinion, you have Bryan County, Chatham County, Effingham County, and Liberty County. Residential, that means no land and no rentals. Look at the months of inventory as of June 2024, 3.33. Now, a balanced market between buyers and sellers is about anywhere from, from five to six months is a balanced market, okay? Anything below four, you start looking at a seller's market, not really a super strong seller's market, right? But it is a seller's market, okay? Now, anything six months or more worth of inventory, that is definitely a buyer's market. So to answer your question, the answer is it is a seller's market. Now, for all of you guys, let me see if I can increase my, my little face here. For all of you guys who are looking in Pooler, and Richmond Hill and South Savannah. Those are the top three areas in the entire market, okay? The entire market. Richmond Hill is number one right now. Pooler is number two, and South Savannah is number three in terms of the zip codes and where most buyers are buying properties. Please listen to me. If you're planning on buying there, you have to be competitive with your offers. If it's a brand new listing, do not expect them to lower the price stop making lowball offers if you know you want the house and you like the house why are you guys wanting to negotiate up front and and try to make a lowball offer when it's a brand new listing in one of the hottest places on the entire market i'm telling you i've had clients who they have to lose two to three offers first in order to, you know in order for for them to realize that what i'm saying is true right if you're a buyer and you ask me, hey, Bruno, I really like this house. What do you think I should offer? My answer will always be based on a few things. Number one, are we in a buyer's market or not? Okay, I'm going to answer the question. Is this a brand new listing? Yes or no? Because if it's a brand new listing in a good area and the home is priced the right way in a good location, in a good condition, I am not going to tell you to make a lowball offer. 
Now, if the home has been on the market for 45 days, 70 days, three months, then at that point, I will tell you, yeah, you can definitely make a global offer. All right. So you have to keep that in mind. All right. Look at this one. How many showings does it take for a home to go under contract? That's a good question. Check this out. Chatham County, which is Savannah area, Pooler, et cetera. It takes about nine showings. Effingham, seven showings. Brown County, seven showings. And Liberty, about four showings. Now, let's take a look at shows per listing. So if you're a homeowner and you're looking at and you're watching this video, how many showings are you supposed to expect? Let's see. Look, it takes on average in Chatham County, houses are getting about four, four and a half, three and a half in Effingham. Bryan County would be 3.7, Liberty 2.3. So guys, that answered one question. You're not the only one looking at homes, okay? So keep that in mind. You're not the only one looking at homes. And by the way, this is just average numbers, by the way, average numbers. Remember, Pooler and South Savannah are not the average on the market. They are like the top of the market, just so you know. Richmond Hill is the top of the market. So those homes are not gonna get three people looking at it, okay? Those homes are gonna get maybe six, seven, eight people looking at the home, people who are qualified, ready, and able to buy the home, okay? So they're either gonna make an offer or not. All right, next, let's take a look at how long are houses taking to sell in this area. So Chatham County, we have about 32 days from the moment they list their home to the moment uh, they close, all right? Effingham County, about 28 days. Bryan County, which is Richmond Hill, et cetera, that's 35 days. And Liberty, which is Hinesville, it takes a little bit longer with 40 days, all right? All right, let's answer the question now about rentals. And by the way, I do not work with rentals, okay? I'm not gonna put your home for, for rent. I'm not a property manager. And if you're looking to rent when you get here, I'm not the guy for you, just so you know. But since this is a market update, I know people care about it. So let's talk about rentals. For all of you guys who are investing in Savannah, right? real estate investing, all of you guys who got rentals. This one is for you. And I want to show you something real quick. Check this out. This one includes uh, Chatham County, Bryan, Effingham, Liberty, but it's only the houses that have three bedrooms, okay? Three bedroom homes. Here's how much you should expect to rent it if you were to purchase a property that you're looking to rent. Chatham, Bryan, Effingham, Liberty, it goes all the way from $2,000 in Liberty to $2,300 in Chatham County. Now, in Chatham County, if you go to the best areas, which is anywhere near downtown, of course, or Tybee, the rentals would be more expensive, right? Pooler, Georgia, Bloomingdale, Port Wentworth, there's not necessarily a huge difference between the two, right? But Tybee Island is expensive, or anywhere in the islands is expensive, and also downtown. Now, if you were to have a four-bedroom or maybe a five-bedroom home, and I say that because some of them have a, a bonus room and people count them as a bedroom, so anywhere from four to five bedrooms, if you're looking to invest and get a rental, here's what you can expect. Let me just get out, of, get out of the way. But here's how much you can expect. Chatham County, you can see right here, four to five bedrooms. Chatham County, about $3,000. This is just price median, okay? Price median of the rentals. Bryan County, which is the Richmond Hill area, it will be $2,800. Effingham County, $2,400. And Liberty County, $2,000. 275 and last but not least let me just go and check the interest rates here it is i'm on mortgage news daily which by the way if you're not uh too familiar with interest rates this is a great resource right mortgage news daily you can look at the news etc but this is the mortgage rates right now as of june 27 2024 okay 7.05 that's just average of course if you have a va loan etc that's a, a whole different game uh, and also FHA by the way if you are a buyer guys if you're planning on purchasing a home down here a common question that I get is do I have to get pre-approved first and then call you not necessarily of course if you're already pre-approved that's fine but you don't have to be pre-approved to call me call me I can get you connected with some local lenders that basically about 95% of my clients use and of course you can have a second opinion and you can look at it and go from there okay anyway if i can help with anything real estate wise let me know that is my number right there on the screen and i'll see you guys next time take care